Hi everyone, welcome to Copenhagen in Denmark for the Delo Industry Days 2023. We are with SH Defense, the famous uh, company who designed the Cube concept. We are with René Bettelson, the CEO of the company, who is showcasing this year at the event two concepts for their modules, one dedicated to mine laying and the other one dedicated to seabed warfare. René, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for welcoming us uh, on your booth here at uh, Delo Industry Days 2023. So can you please first tell us about your uh, modular mine laying system? Yes. Well, first of all, uh, mine laying has not been, uh, let's say, very attractive for some years now. And of course it has been because we have been living in a world of peace. But the order has changed now. So people have realized that with the crisis we have in Ukraine, if they didn't do their mine laying in time, they probably would have lost Odessa quite quickly. But they still are in control of, of that area due to mine laying. So now a lot of the other countries are actually looking, should we invest again or reinvest in that capability for our nation? And a lot of nations now are coming in saying we want to have mine laying, but not the traditional mine laying with rails, but something that we can put on if we are in times of crisis and take off again, because it's not a capability that you will use all the time. So, so the containerized mine laying system is definitely something that is uh, pushing our production at the moment. Um, so it's not really a concept anymore, it's something that we are spitting out uh, as, as orders. So and you're getting a lot of interest? Definitely, definitely around the Alliance, uh, I will say the majority of them. Behind us is a sea mine from Finland by your DA Group. So that's one of your partners, but uh, you have partnerships with other uh, mines, uh, manufacturers. Yes, uh, the, the system is built up so we can have uh, many different types of mines. Uh, so this means we are not, uh, let's say, isolating a end user for only having one type of mines. The system can actually handle more. It's about the interface. But we have, uh, we have signed agreements with five different mine uh, manufacturers. DA is one of them, uh, which is on the picture here, but also we have the green ones who are from Rheinmetall, they are Manta mined, uh, but also uh, SES from, the, uh, from Spain and, and other uh, mine manufacturing forces. So as you mentioned, uh, sea mines uh, are becoming popular again among uh, navies around the world. Another burning topic, of course, is uh, seabed warfare, even more so from a Danish perspective, because uh, as you may all remember, uh, the Nord Stream uh, incident or sabotage uh, took place uh, in the backyard of uh, Denmark, so to speak. So you're showcasing here uh, this uh, seabed warfare concept consisting in uh, different modules to launch and recover tools for seabed warfare. Yes, that's correct. It's actually not our equipment anymore. We sold it off. It has been with the Danish Navy and has been sailing in the Arctic since 2012. So the system is, uh, is very well proven. Uh, it's fitted with corner castings. So we have this modular approach already back uh, since 2012, which of course have developed. Uh, but this system is still in operation. And keep in mind, it has been in operation since 2012 in a very harsh environment. So when people are in doubt, does modularity actually work in real life? This is a proof of it. So, for example, the Nord Stream is a good example. If uh, the Danish Navy or any uh, the Swedish Navy or German Navy would have been uh, prepared for that situation, this means one thing is to have the module itself. We also have a, a drone here from Teledyne. So we, you can say we are one of the, the major parts because we make this um, interchangeability possible. But of course, the end user also have to invest in the tools that they want to put on it, the payload. So that would have been easy to put on a, a Danish patrol vessel actually going into the Baltics and do some in investigations. So that's the whole concept of it. Here in Denmark, there's an ongoing uh, program for a future class of uh, patrol vessels. How could the Q benefit such uh, vessels? Well, first of all, it's very important that if you build new vessels that we are part of the design phase, because you cannot just take a platform and say, Mm, this is a modular platform. A lot of uh, shipbuilders around the world, uh, shipyards, they will say they already do that, but that's when they built the ship, they built it into modules, building blocks and, and collect it. But as soon as it is assembled, it's a ship. So what we do is we go in and we define some areas where you can take on payloads that are modular. So we call it modular 
uh, payloads instead of fixed uh, payloads. So the, in terms of the Danish uh, project, if uh, we are involved in that, we would go in and define what are the areas that we need to dedicate for mission modularity, how should look, how should be able to handle these modules, and that of course is depending on what kind of capabilities they want on a platform like that. And of course in the Danish Navy, uh, one of the big topics is flexible modularity in payloads. René, and here uh, during the Delo Days 2023, you formally uh, entered into a partnership with Teledyne for this uh, mission module. Yes, so Teledyne has a, a broad range of equipment that will be a perfect match to our uh, cube system in terms of payloads. So we uh, signed this uh, uh, MOU agreement with them, so we will proceed on developing cube modules with their payloads. Are you currently working on uh, integrating uh, other systems with the Cube ecosystem? Yes, we are also uh, actually signing an, another MOU here with Safan from France. There's a lot of companies coming in, so uh, apparently it has become attractive to be put into this type of payload and of course everybody is hoping that it will be put on the Danish ships and they will have a, a spot on, uh, on the attraction list. And I believe uh, that MOU with Safran is to integrate a uh, decoy launching system in your uh, cube system. Yes, that's correct. That is one of the, uh, the, the, the main topics among others. Oles Pedersen, you are the Vice President at uh, Teledyne Marine Europe. Can you please first tell us about the MOU you just signed with uh, SH Defense? Yeah, so ASH Defense has a great concept with the modular um, aspects of bringing equipment on board, on board different vessels. And since the future is autonomous, it's about bringing autonomy out to vessels to make it easy to deploy and use. How can a product like the Sea Raptor uh, benefit uh, seabed monitoring and seabed warfare operations? Yeah, so a a, an AUV like this, the um, Tilidine Sea Raptor, can sail for nine days under sea, cover 1,200 kilometers of waterway. Um, it can carry a payload with sonars, side scan sonars, uh, bathymetric sonars, and thereby do a complete mapping of what is underneath. Very helpful if you need to know what's below. For instance, critical infrastructure, um, today you can, through algorithms, identify if any changes has happened from one day to the next. Thereby, if you persistently monitor the same area, you can, you can identify as if anybody placed anything on the uh, seabed close to any of our critical infrastructure, as we know happened earlier. So, uh, in your opinion, the combination of the CUBE concept and the C-Raptor, that's the right answer to uh, prevent in a future uh, incident like the Nord Stream? Yeah, I, w I would say again, SH Defense, great concept. We are thrilled to work with them uh, on it. Will enable vessels to bring uh, this equipment easier on board the different types of vessels you need to operate uh, in the military environment. Ole, thank you very much. Thank you.